Hello everyone and welcome you back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to learn Cattle Theory of Personality. Okay, so who was Cattle, the man behind this theory? Raymond Bernard Cattle is his full name. He was born in the year 1905 and died 1998. He was British and American psychologist known for his psychometric research into intrapersonal psychological structure. He was educated in Britain and was awarded PhD in 1929 from the University of London. Raymond Kettle, he had made many contributions in the field of psychology, but he is most renowned for his theory of personality and the discovery of 16 underlying traits. Now, let us look into Kettle's theory of personality. Kettle, unlike his predecessor, he used statistical approach to study personality rather than using observational and qualitative data. He applied factor analysis to personality and then categorized data into three parts. We will look further into the three data types, but first let us see what is factor analysis. Factor analysis it is a technique that is used to reduce a large number of variables into fewer numbers of factors by identifying common characteristics within the data. This technique extracts maximum common variance from all variables and put them together into a common score. Alright, now let us see the three data types that were used by Cattle to identify source traits. The first we have is live data or L data. Live data are informations about an individual's everyday behaviors and their behavioral patterns. This included things such as the grades they receive in school, their marital status, social interactions, etc. The second we have is experimental data or T data. Experimental data are the recorded reactions to standardized experiments in a lab setting. It is designed to test response of study participants to certain situations. Coming to the third data type we have is Kushner data or Q data. Kushner data are responses to questions about the participants' behavior and their feelings. This data was introspection based, therefore it provided a deeper look into the person's personality that is not always clear through behavioral data. Okay, now let us look into the 16 source traits that cattle have identified. Before that, Gordon Alport, who was one of the first modern trait theories, identified 4,500 traits of which Cattle took the list and removed all the synonyms, reducing the number down to 171. Then, here Cattle applied factor analysis to the list of words and eventually it led him to identify the 16 individual source traits that are central to his personality theory. So, Cattle's theory of personality describes 16 personality traits that each person possesses to varying degrees. They are warm, reasoning, emotional stability, dominance, liveliness, rule consciousness, social boldness, sensitivity, vigilance, abstractness, privateness, apprehension, openness to change, self-reliance, perfectionism, and lastly, tension. In the late 1940s, Kettle and his colleague they developed the 16 personality factor Kushner, also commonly known as the 16PF, which was devised to measure source traits using self-report data. Cattle has identified and classified traits as accordingly, surface traits, source traits, constitutional traits, environmental mold traits, ability trait, temperament trait, dynamic traits, common traits, and unique traits. Okay, so what are surface traits? From the name itself, surface traits or central traits are the visible qualities of personality, whereas source traits are the fundamental underlying traits which exist at deeper level of the personality and are the causes of behavior. 
Now, constitutional traits are derived from the biological and physiological conditions of the person. For instance, recovery from cocaine addiction may cause the person to be momentarily irritable, depressed, and anxious. Kettle would suggest that these behaviors result from changes in the person's physiology and thus reflect constitutional source traits. 3. Environmental Mold Traits These traits are determined by influences in the social and physical environment. These traits reflect learned characteristics and styles of behaving and form a pattern that is imprinted on the personality by the individual's environment. Does a person who is raised in a rural setting behave differently from a person who grows up in an urban area? The fourth we have is ability traits. The ability traits determine the person's skills and effectiveness in pursuing a desired goal. For example, intelligence, musical aptitude, etc. 5. Temperament Traits Temperament traits are related to our emotions and feelings. These traits determine our interaction with others and reaction to situations. The next we have is dynamic traits. Dynamic traits reflect the motivational elements of human behavior. These are traits that activate and direct the person towards particular goals. Thus, a person may be characterized as ambitious, power-oriented, or interested in acquiring material possessions. We have come to the last two traits, common traits and unique traits. So, what are common traits? Common traits are the one that is shared in varying degrees by members of the same culture. For example, self-esteem, intelligence, and introversion. And unique traits. Unique traits are those that are shared by few or no other people. Unique traits are specially observed in the areas of interests and attitudes. So that is it for the brief presentation of Cattle Theory of Personality. Thank you.